The judge overseeing Donald Trump's 2020 election interference trial here in Washington, D.C., released a 165-page filing on Wednesday, uh, which basically outlines the prosecution's uh, case against Donald Trump and includes some never-seen-before evidence that they have against the uh, former president of the United States. This then part of the special counsel Jack Smith's case uh, to try to uh, SCOTUS proof this, Supreme Court proof this ruling after the, the Supreme Court ruled in July that Donald Trump had immunity for acts that he undertook whilst in office. The special counsel is arguing that the majority of these things do not fall under that and instead uh, were uh, carried out by somebody who was act actively seeking office and not currently holding office. Uh, those uh, include uh, the fact that Donald Trump was told that his claim about dead people voting in Georgia uh, was false but continued to push that narrative. It also includes an anecdote about the former Vice President Mike Pence trying to convince Donald Trump that he lost the election and instead trying to get him to run in 2024. And Trump allegedly said, I don't know, 2024 is so far off. Now, the Trump campaign is saying that this is an unconstitutional witch hunt. They say that it is tantamount to election interference, the fact that it is happening this close to the election, now about a month away. Uh, but we're not really expecting any movement on this case before that election date. If anything, it's unlikely to go ahead before the end of the year. And of course, the future of it depends on who gets into the White House after that election. Uh, if it's the Democrats, then this case will likely go ahead, although Donald Trump does have some recourse with uh, the district courts and then the Supreme Court. But if Donald Trump wins and gets in, then his Department of Justice is likely to make this case go away altogether.